Ready to unlock the mysteries of your personality and uncover what makes you, well, you? This personality test will help you reveal your strongest and weakest points. All you need is a notebook and a pen, but you can also use notes on your phone. Let's go! So imagine you've just had an unpleasant conversation at school or at work. How do you typically react in stressful situations? A. Remain calm and composed. I don't usually stress out. B. Become anxious and overwhelmed. I can even burst into tears when stressed. C. Take charge and become assertive. D. Withdraw and seek solitude. I need some privacy. How do you prefer to spend your free time? A. Engaging in creative activities like painting, DIYs, you name it. B. Socializing with friends or attending events. I like being in the center of people's attention. C. Pursuing physical activities or sports. I can't imagine my life without going to the gym. D. Enjoying solitude and quiet activities. Picture it, you gotta make a super important decision. When making it, what would you rely on the most? A, logic and reasoning. B, gut instinct or intuition. I trust my senses, they never fail. C, seeking advice from others. They might have experienced something similar so they can help. D, considering my past experiences. We all get criticized sometimes. How do you handle criticism? A. Reflect on it and use it constructively. I mean, criticism can help me improve. B. Take it personally and feel hurt. People often say things I don't want to hear. C. Defend yourself and provide counterarguments. Who are they to judge me? D. Brush it off and not let it affect you. I just don't care about what others think. How would you describe your approach to work or tasks? A. Detail-oriented and organized. B. Flexible and adaptable. C. Competitive and goal-oriented. D. Independent and self-motivated. How would you describe yourself in social situations like when you hang out with your friends? A. Reserved and introverted, it can be hard for me to communicate with people, especially when I'm in a new environment. B. Outgoing and extroverted, I'm the soul of the party. C. Assertive and confident, however, many people think I'm pretty introverted. D. Observant and analytical, it might take some time before I feel confident with new people. How do you handle unexpected changes or disruptions to your plans? A. Adapt quickly and find alternative solutions. B. Feel frustrated and struggle to adjust. C. Take charge and lead others through the changes. D. Analyze the situation before deciding on the next steps. What motivates you the most? A. Personal growth and learning. B. Recognition and praise from others. C. Achieving goals and success. D. Independence and freedom. How do you prefer to communicate with others? A. In writing, e.g. emails or texts. Phone calls terrify me. B. Face-to-face -face conversations. There's nothing better than looking into someone's eyes. C. Phone calls or video chats. This way you can look into people's eyes without leaving your bedroom. D. It depends on the situation or person.
How do you handle disagreements or conflicts with others? A. Seek compromise and find a middle ground. B. Avoid confrontation and try to keep the peace. I can't stand conflict. C. Stand your ground and defend your position. D. Analyze the situation objectively and propose solutions. When starting a new project, how do you typically approach it? A. Create a detailed plan and follow it step by step. B. Dive right in and figure things out along the way. C. Set clear goals and deadlines to stay on track. D. Gather information and analyze before taking action. How do you prefer to learn new things? A. Reading books or articles. B. Hands-on experience and trial and error. C. Attending workshops or classes. D. Observing others or receiving instructions. How do you handle unexpected compliments? A. Accept them graciously and appreciate them. B. Feel slightly uncomfortable but thank the person. C. Brush them off and downplay their significance. D. Analyze the intention behind the compliment. What is your attitude towards rules and regulations? A. They're important for maintaining order. B. They can be restrictive and should be flexible. C. They're necessary for fair competition. D. They should be questioned and revised if necessary. How do you handle a large workload or multiple tasks? A. Prioritize them and break them down into manageable parts. B. Multitask and work on several things simultaneously. C. Compete with yourself to complete them quickly. D. Work independently and at your own pace. How do you handle failure or setbacks? A. Analyze what went wrong and learn from it. B. Feel disappointed but move on quickly. C. Take it personally and dwell on it for some time. D. View it as an opportunity to try a different approach. How do you approach meeting new people? A. Observe and listen before actively participating. B. Eagerly introduce yourself and initiate conversations. C. Take charge and lead the conversation. D. Engage in small talk and find common ground. How do you handle tasks that require attention to detail? A. Enjoy them and find satisfaction in precision. B. Find them tedious, but complete them diligently. C. Delegate them to others if possible. D. Prefer tasks that involve big picture thinking. How do you handle unexpected praise or recognition? A. Appreciate it, but remain humble. B. Feel proud and share it with others. After all, I deserve it. C. Use it as motivation to achieve even more. D. Analyze the motives behind the praise. Did they really mean to praise me? How do you typically approach a problem-solving situation? A. Analyze the situation and gather information first. B. Trust your instincts and make quick decisions. C. Seek input from others and collaborate on solutions. D. Break the problem down into smaller parts.
How do you handle criticism of your ideas or opinions? A. Listen to it openly and consider alternative viewpoints. B. Feel defensive and struggle to accept it. C. Argue your point and provide evidence to support it. D. Reflect on it and adjust your ideas if necessary. How do you handle being in the spotlight or at the center of attention? A. Feel uncomfortable and prefer to stay in the background. B. Enjoy it and thrive in social situations. C. Take charge and lead others effectively. D. Observe and analyze the situation before participating. How do you participate planning for the future? A. Create detailed plans and set specific goals. B. Keep your options open and go with the flow. C. Set ambitious goals and work hard to achieve them. D. Analyze different scenarios and prepare accordingly. How do you handle personal or professional conflicts? A. Seek resolution through open communication and compromise. B. Avoid confrontation and hope the issue resolves itself. C. Assert yourself and fight for what you believe is right. D. Analyze the situation objectively before deciding on action. How do you handle unexpected changes in routine or plans? A. Adapt quickly and find alternative solutions. B. Feel frustrated and struggle to adjust. C. Take charge and lead others through the changes. D. Analyze the situation before deciding on the next steps. Once you've completed the personality test, assign points to each answer as follows. A equals one point. B equals two points. C equals three points. Four equals four points. So sum up all the points to see your total score. If you've got 25 to 50 points, it means you're reserved and introverted. You're a deep thinker and have a rich inner world. While you may not seek out social interactions, you can form deep and meaningful connections with others once you feel comfortable and trust has been established. If you got 51 to 75 points, you're outgoing and extroverted. You're confident, approachable, and many people around you think you're cool. You often bring a sense of excitement and liveliness to social interactions. If you've got 76 to 100 points, you're assertive and confident. You strike a balance between being respectful to others and advocating for yourself. Finally, if you've got 101 to 125 points, you're observant and analytical. You think critically and you excel at breaking down complex problems into smaller components, allowing you to thoroughly evaluate each part and understand the bigger picture. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.